Hello everybody, this is LazyGriff26 here, and welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator, and I did promise you guys that I would be taking this thing on the dyno, but unfortunately I ran out of time in my last video, because I didn't know how to do oil. Look, look I know how to fill oil now. I hope that this just lets me, like it just stops me. This thing's gonna take a lot of oil though. It's a brand new engine. I probably just spilled and wasted a lot of oil. But that does mean that I can, in fact, put this thing on the dyno. So, guys, we are about to see what my build horsepower can finally do or like what what it does there is rubber there's a rubber bushing missing from the car the oh, fuck is there rubber bushing missing probably in the rear damn it guys I I am Everything's going wrong. Everything's just going wrong, bro. I, got a power mount. I don't have a fucking drive shaft. <laughs> oh my god. Rubber bushing missing. Dude, I don't even got a fucking drive shaft in. Oh, dearie me. So there's a rubber bushing missing, right? Ah, and the fucking springs. No items. What do you mean? It's just a small rubber bushing. Okay, apparently I didn't actually finish the fucking build. My bad. I lied. I've been lying to all of you. Y'all probably saw through my deception anyway. Anybody that actually knows this game or watches this video probably knows a lot about this game. And probably, I mean, I would assume. People that oh shit! Why did I only buy three? Why did I only buy three? Now y'all gonna be roasting me like now you bought two? This is some funky ass, uh, like really thin rear tires, and I, I do want to change that. I do. And since we got a new video and way more time, I think after I run the dyno, I am going to do something. Oh wait, what am I? Fucking game stupid, bro. Game's like, oh, you have a couple of rubber bushings missing. Dude, I was missing a whole drivetrain. Like, what? I'm missing a whole drivetrain, and all the only thing the cars, the games worry about is, yo, you got a rubber bushing missing. Alright, time to see if she'll go in the dyno now. Well, I mean, but we all know she'll go into the dyno, but will she, you know, run the dyno? Well, be able to run the dyno. That's a true question. Still? Oopsies. This is kind of scary. I don't even remember bushings that I miss. The fact that I miss this many rubber bushings kind of terrifying. And I kind of want to rebuild that. But, um. I gotta lift this bitch all the way up again. Alright, we will check the front because I have that feeling that it's up in the front. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna go to the mount. Alright, where would there be rubber bush and missing? Right there. These suckers are kinda hidden. They even blame me for these ones. These ones are kinda fucking hidden. But I do believe that is it. Everything else is everything else is on the car, so. We're just gonna, we're just gonna put whatever we see not on it, on it, now, and then, you know, move car to dyno. I, myself, want to see how much horsepower this thing's making, because I think I did use pretty good parts on it. Leaf spring plate? There's a place for the leaf spring, oh my god. Ugh! Man, anybody that knows anything about this game, it's like, dude, you missed, like, every part of this car. 
Like, please, go back and fix it. It's just like, but, I'm uh, sorry. I just wanted to put my my thing on the dino. Yeah, I'm going to say some cool things when I leave spring. Huh? Oh, the U-joints. Yeah, the U-bolts. You know what? I think the game told me before I decided to try to go to the racetrack. <laughs> I don't think it'll it would have let me, but still, oh hi hi dog. But still, really really thankful that it did not let me, because or well, really thankful this happened. At least you know, would have fucking driving on the road at like 90 miles an hour, and freaking whole 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 rear axle would have low key just came off. Well, the axle wouldn't have come off, but like you know, the loop string would have. What are you doing? Go away. I'm busy, puppy. I'm building it like an El Camino looking thing. Alright, so I think, I think, don't quote me, but I think that this car is finally done. I just love the fact that I built this fucking thing. Almost, almost from the ground up. Almost. I mean, logistically, technically, I did rebuild it from the ground up. I took everything out, stripped the whole motor. Yes. Begin to ask. But I stripped everything. Fifty-eight horsepower and five hundred twenty-eight torque. Jesus. Oh, measured engine power. Measure. Measured engine. Oh my God. Factory. Measured engine power. We are at four hundred and twenty-five horsepower and seven hundred fifty-five Nm of torque. With like I think probably around five thousand RPMs. So we gained 64% and we lost 42%. Dude, we freaking upgraded the living a hell out. We almost doubled its horsepower. Oh my god. Move car. Let's do garage entrance. Did I put it back on the lift? I think I put it back on the lift. I did on an accident. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna move you to. B. I'm gonna put you on the lift because next I'm gonna stream it, but I'm gonna engine swap either the Bentley, the Chrysler, or the Bentley, and I'm gonna do a full build on them instead of three separate videos. I'm going to stream them. Test track. The Bolt Atlanta. Let's freaking go. I do want to try to get a Lambo and build it. But I don't know where how to get a Lamborghini. I'll probably figure it out. It's all probably by random chance because it just there doesn't seem like to be a catalog. You just open up and go, oh, I want this car. <laughs> because by then, I guarantee I probably would have had, I probably wouldn't have built this thing. Um, I saw it in the auction house. And again, I am in sandbox mode. Like I said, I just want to build cars and have fun. <laughs> oh my god, this thing is so wobbly. Oof. I had a couple cones. Ah. I don't know, just because I'm a bad driver. This is squirrely as hell, but it. Oh no, she's definitely squirrely. We got a lot of horses under underneath this hood, bro. And this steering is a little sensitive, so. Oh. Yeah. 
bench is pretty good. This bench is damn good. This thing's insane. <laughs> I don't want to break it, you know. Oh, look at that. Look at that, bro. How do I? How do I move this? This is awesome. This car is legitly awesome. Especially every time since I open it up every time and it spins. It's just like, yeah, I built something with a lot of power. I want to see what I can do about the, um, I'm gonna see what I can do about the uh, about the spinning though. I want to widen the retires. You know, give it some good old traction there. Cause you know, I'm a G, and I very much want traction. <laughs> I mean, it's cool to be like, yeah, I got a lot of horsepower, but then again, it's like, yeah, I can barely control it. Long ass loading screens, my guy. Long ass loading screens. Hundred percent for everything. Ugh. Ah, dog. Why do you just jump on top of me? This is this is disrespectful. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Or at least go over there. Do you want to be let out? Is this is this why you're over here complaining and bothering me? Do you want to go outside? Yeah, yeah, you do. Chimney crickets. All right. Well, this will be it for this video. I know it was a short one, but we did get a little bit of car building in. But this will be Laser Ghost 26 signing this video off.